Okay, congratulations on making level three engineers. So what can you do with it? All right, well, first of all, we got some new parts, so let's check that out. Let's go up to our storage, see what we got there. Your screen should look uh, something kind of similar to this. Uh, there's my Hornet, there's uh, an extra cord I got laying in there. Also notice I got an Avenger 57 millimeter. That there is kind of a, a surprising reward uh, that I got in Get the Machine Guns. That's not very common. The um, thing about the Avenger is that it's uh, five points of energy drain, and our current builds only have a max of seven. So you could use it, but uh, yeah, it's going to use up everything, almost everything else. You could maybe get another machine gun in there. Okay, so we also we picked up a radiator grill. Uh, that is 27 power score, 9 points of structure, and 7 mass. I want to show you something if you haven't noticed this before maybe yet. Uh, if we go over to the van ramp, something new here, it's got a green number. Increases vehicle structure by 5. Uh, think of uh, vehicle structure as your hit points, how many hit points it takes before you're dead. Uh, so each piece... Uh, have most pieces increase your vehicle structure. This one increases it by five. This radiator grill is kind of a different piece. Um, it's um, acts as armor, nine points uh, of structure, but it doesn't actually add the structure to your hit points. Um, I don't have a solid explanation for why or how that works, but we'll, we'll kind of get to uses for that in a little bit. Uh, their van sides and now we also have two van windows very nice notice that it has 20 points of structure and you know that it does apply because there's a green number increases vehicle structure by 20 and they're 51 kilograms each we'll talk a, uh, a moment about mass uh, mass is quite uh, simple all right, so, uh, you know, what can you do with it? What do we got going on there? Uh, you did, uh, your parts limit went up from 20 to 25. Let's take a look at what uh, what else we received that's different and new. We're going to start with the van ramp, a uh, piece of roof ramp from a van. What can we do with that? Well, I kind of think that, uh, you know, it acts pretty good as a, uh, as a fender, a small fender over the front uh, front wheel there and also there is strategy on where you place your parts because perhaps you want to do something that protects your guns let's look at say using that van side as a rear protection for your guns from attackers from behind where you place your parts uh, although completely up to you, these are the little ideas that I want you to uh, keep in mind uh, when you're placing them. You don't just necessarily slap it on any old wear, get your uh, structure points and that be it. You can uh, use these as protection. You can uh, hide your guns down uh, within uh, uh, and then surround you know your guns in protection just keeping the uh, the muzzle exposed you know many different ways you can go about it so oh, that's 23 or 25 pieces let's for the time being just go with uh, the fender idea a uh, couple other things that I want to mention that you should keep in mind during your builds first let's talk about contact points there's a little bit of debate about this Notice that uh, this particular piece, at its most, has four points of contact, the four yellow boxes. And as long as there's at least one point of contact, that item will go on. So, you know, we've got it sticking out you know, almost like a ram there. And there is some who say that the fewer points of contact that, uh, that you have, think of, think of them as welds, the, uh, the less... Uh, the piece will hold on. I personally, from uh, what I have found by a few of my own tests and just uh, by virtue of playing the game, I really don't think that's the case. As long as 
it's on there it gets its full ability so you know if, if during your build if it is so needed that the only way you're going to get it on like right here is with one point of contact this part is still going to have uh, its full ability it's still going to take just as much to knock it off as if it were sitting you know right here at four points of contact now I don't think uh, we really went over this before but let's just talk about what the uh, the controls are a little bit more in depth so let's just talk about orientation real quick uh, or a little bit more in depth you know you've got the item gripped like this the triangle button each time you click it will turn it once clockwise so that helps you uh, decide how you apply an item whether it be straight on like that or you flip it around and it's now on there backwards the piece itself is still just as effective in every way but um, you know your needs may call for putting something on in a different orientation and the triangle will spin it clockwise and then the square will uh, rotate it in whatever direction you have it currently uh, oriented so now you can you know obviously choose exactly how you uh, want to orient it and put it on there okay so now we're at 24 of 25 pieces with uh, the addition uh, of putting on double fenders putting van sides on we can put on one more piece let's look at what we've got here in inventory um, let's look at this radiator grill this uh, what would you do with something that uh, doesn't really add to your hit points um, a good good example of the items that don't technically give you structure give you hit points is that you can find other uses for them and oh by the way um, you can move an item along the floor and press select X and it'll just sit there and wait for you so you don't have to just put it back in storage so here's here's something that you can do with that radiator grill I'm going to just move a gun off to the side say we take that and we square it up uh, on the roof here just like that and now we put our gun right up on top and it's a gun mount and it's raised up a little higher it makes it a little bit more out of reach from some guns puts it in more reach of others again uh, it's kind of up to you on what you do with these pieces but a piece like that that uh, isn't going to add to your structure do, they do serve purposes there are many things that you could possibly do with them use so that's what we're going to do with that one is we're going to make that one a gun mount now technically that made us 25 of 25 pieces but I like uh, covering up what I call my uh, tender bits uh, what a friend of mine calls them tender bits the the exposed parts the things you need especially the explosive items like this fuel barrel here um, from down below you know they're they appear to be pretty well protected but some people's builds are a little higher and their guns are mounted up a little higher and they can shoot down right on them uh, and all of this protection doesn't mean a hill of beans so I would like to be able to cover that up but we're out of uh, parts again so what I think we could do is maybe sacrifice in this case these uh, small struts and uh, take them off so now we have uh, didn't quite get rid of that there we go we're back to 23 of 25 pieces so let's take a look at our storage here and let's take a look at this van window we've got two of them from uh, our leveling up and they are they had 20 points of structure each uh, to your vehicle so that's that's great that's much much better than the five points of structure that the uh, the struts made and we can use these as a shield as a cap I'm just orient this guy around a little bit here it doesn't matter which way it's oriented it will well I mean it does when where you put it but whether it's upside down or not it'll still serve the same purpose and we go back to storage we grab the other one 
and go orient that guy around. Okay. And we now have like a truck, uh, truck line or a truck capper. And the tender bits are almost 100% covered. There's a little bit of gap right here. We would need uh, some wider pieces, which uh, we will get later on. But that's, that's pretty nice there. Okay. So we haven't done a lot, but uh, this, this makes quite a bit of difference. We've got uh, four fenders, rear fenders. Um, all together that we didn't have before, well, two more we didn't have before. We now have these two van windows we didn't have before and they're protecting the uh, tender bits. We've got uh, a gun mount and we've got these small fenders of minor amount of protection for the tires and they add structure as well. So let's just kind of take this out for a spin for fun. But uh, let's let's see how our our new uh, ride's going to do. What uh, what do we have here? We're at a 1,479 power score, and uh, the power score comes from the sum of all the different parts, every one of them that you uh, have on your vehicle. The higher your power score, um, you know you're going to run into you know high, higher power score enemies. So don't think you can uh, throw together a, a 2,000 power score and come back <laughs> to uh, get the machine gun and, and pummel the newbies, so to speak. Enough of that. We've we've put together our level uh, level two or level three uh, engineering guy here. We're gonna we're gonna take him. Okay, let's. Oh, sorry there, buddy. Now it appears that we're still going against bots. If you look in the right-hand corner there, those are single play, single people's names. That's almost an always, always a bot. No numbers in their names, nothing like that. Let's line them up with our gun mount. Boom! Took that guy's gun right off there. Woo! Fourth of July. All right. These guys are gonna fall like dominoes. Hello, Mary. Hello, David. Hello, Samantha. Lighten him up. Light him up. This guy's trying to get away. Oh, he's spinning around. He wants a piece of me. Uh, ooh. All right. Good job. There's only one left somewhere. There it is. I don't think I'm going to get a piece of that one. Ooh, I did. All right. Winner. Ten battles against live players. But hey, we got a reward. We got a medium wheel steering. And we got our fuel, we got our scrap, and our experience level is on the rise. And uh, that is what you can do when uh, with the uh, level 3 uh, engineering. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. It really helps me out a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.